All right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about Linkin Park's um, record, Minutes to Midnight. Um, came out May 14th, 2007. Um, obviously, this one um, is a way different uh, record from the rest of them. Uh, produced by Rick Rubin, Mike Shinoda, came out on Warner Brothers. Um, the singles for this one is What I've Done, Bleed It Out, um, Shadow of the Day, Giving Up, and Leave Out All the Rest. Um, so, let me go ahead and talk about the lineup um, and who played on this record. So let's go ahead and talk about the personnel. Ugh, sorry guys. Um, but this one, Chester Bennington on vocals, Mike Shinoda, um, pretty much the general manager. Brad Delson, lead guitar. Um, Dave Phoenix Farrell on bass once again. Joseph Hahn, turntables. And Rob Burden. So Mr. Joe Hahn. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the track listing and the overall view of this record. Um, obviously it starts out with Wake. Um, it's kind of a filler song. Um, it's nothing really too too much. Um, giving Up. Um, let's talk about this one and how unique this song really is. Um, this song, it definitely kicks the record off. Probably, maybe one of the heaviest songs Linkin Park's probably ever done. Um, Linkin Park's vocals, um, I mean Chester on this one just completely screams for like a minute long. Like literally he just, uh, it just goes forever. Um, I've given, you know, ah, you know, and it just, it, it's heavy, the guitars, the distortion, I was like, whoa, like, what the hell, are we listening to a, a Linkin Park record, uh, Linkin Park record, or like, what, like, that one really blew me away, so that one's definitely topping it, um, Leave Out All the Rest is a definitely really cool alternative sounding, um, song, um, Bleed It Out has more of like a, a crowd, vibe like a party song type shadow of the day it's just really good like if you're trying to chill um, alternative for sure um, what I've done is what we were introduced to um, it kind of really pissed me off when I first heard it because I'm used to like you know in the end it you know I'm used to that old school and then what I done you know it just did not compare and I thought I thought you know they were kind of doing like a like a remake of the uh, Halloween theme song. Na, 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 na. I don't know. It, it just kind of didn't mix well with me when I first heard it. Um, so what I've done is good, but it's not their best. Um, hands held high. Nothing really too special here. It's all right. Uh, no more sorrow is pretty cool. It's got like a little army type vibe to it. Um, Valentine's Day. I think it's another filler bullshit song. Um, in between is all right. In pieces, uh, they're okay. Uh, the little things give you away, and I think it's really cool to kind of end that one. And this is their first record um, as a band to go over three to four, or to go over three minutes long. With the little things give you away at six minutes and twenty three seconds. Um, so you could tell with this record that they were trying to change the, their sound, and they they did. Um, I kind of think that the fans kind of had a backlash at this point. I, I know I, as a huge Linkin Park fan, I was looking forward to another Meteora or Hybrid Theory, and this just was not it. Um, don't get me wrong, there are some high points on this record, but there are definitely some low points. And I, as, as a huge Linkin Park fan, I, I was somewhat let down on this record. Um, half the record is all filler and bullshit, and the other half is really, really good. Um, as you can tell, Waking Up, Leave Out All the Rest, Shadow of the Day, No More Sorrow. I mean, those are all great ones, but that's less than half the record, and, and the other ones are just, eh, okay, average to bullshit. Um, so, I mean, as far as the videos go for this one, I, I dig the videos, like the What I've Done video is cool. Um, I, I kind of like the album art too. The album art is really cool with the whole white and then they're all like, you know, shadows. It's really, really kind of cool. I was digging that. 
Um, when this first came out, it leaked out like a month before the record even came out, and we all heard it, and we were all somewhat surprised. It was kind of like the whole Suicide Silence thing, you know, self-titled. You know, there was not as big as a, back, uh, a backlash, but it's just like, you know, oh, you know, they changed their sound. And um, we were hoping all, oh, you know, that it wasn't going to go towards, you know, their future records, which uh, were just... As you can tell, they're just not up to their first three records at all. And um, so let's go ahead and talk about their next record. Um, to be honest with you guys, I'm going to be completely honest, um, brutally honest actually. Um, A Thousand Suns, I've listened to it only like ten times. And that's here in like the past month. Just so I could give it like an accurate review. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to A Thousand Suns. Alright guys. A Thousand Suns coming right up. <laughs> 